Hello everyone! I hope all of you out there are doing great. Today I'm very excited that I'll be reacted to an amazing song called The Prayer, which was originally sung by Andrea Bocelli and Celine Dion. But this version was sung by a supposedly amazing Philippine singer called Mathelito Pumoy. He was requested on every single video that I did, in particular that song, so I thought I gotta take a look at it. And I'm already very curious how he manages to negotiate through both parts, the male and the female part in that song. So without further ado, let's get started. I pray you'll be In watch us where we go And help us to be wise In times when we don't know So he really has a lot of resemblance in his voice to the vocal tone of Celine Dion, which at first sight, of course, is very amazing for a male singer. Now, technically, a lot of stuff is going on here. He keeps everything very much in a mixed tuning, even as vowels to have a slightly nasal touch, like you often also hear with Celine Dion. Can help us to be wise in time. When we don't know. And you would clearly see he keeps his mouth pretty close. That, in combination with the inner vowel shape, gives you this typical female, poppier, mixier sound. Let this be So this jumping around in between two totally different sounds is created by a very well coordinated fine adjustment in between his vocal folds and his resonance tract. So by changing the proportions inside his resonance tract, he applies completely different resonance strategies and is able to get two sounds that really sound like two different voices. So he changes in between this more closed vocal tract that gives him the more female poppy sound. I pray you will find your life. And a more open vocal tract, elongated vocal tract as well, that gives him the more classical tenoresque sound. And to a certain degree, most people can learn how to make this work. But the level he does it at is pretty amazing and probably beyond the reach of most people. Very good. It's pretty amazing to me how quick he is at making these very, very I would say drastic resonance adjustments. I mean, at this part of the song, it's still kind of doable because the parts don't alternate that quickly. Uh, but I wonder what he's gonna do afterwards when, you know, there's not so much time in between the vocal parts of Celine Dion and Andrea Bocelli. But again, amazing how quickly he completely changes the vocal setup of his voice. <laughs> Beautiful. 
for voice. Amazing, amazing. First of all, amazing vocal sound. I really, really love the color of his voice and it's really incredible how flexible it is. It sounds great and the female sound, it sounds amazing as I think in a more male tenor-like sound. Now, one interesting thing I realized, he is using very little vibrato. And although he sang the vocal line that Andrea Bocelli does, so he didn't go for Celine's vocal line here, um, it doesn't really sound like Andrea Bocelli or the more tenoresque Andrea Bocelli part because it keeps the vibrato out, which takes away a little bit from that classical sound. And this isn't meant to be criticism in any way, quite the contrary. I find it pretty fascinating because by singing the pitches straight, he keeps more of that pop touch in the sound and a little bit of the resemblance to Celine Dion's voice. And that in turn gives you a very interesting new interpretation with Andrea's vocal line and a little bit of the tenoresque touch. But on the other hand, some of the Celine Dion sound added to it. Really, really interesting. Some would also say it gives you a little bit of a Josh Groban touch. I am strong. Or a more music theater like sound. Let home fast, let fast. Anyway, it's amazing. We are the light because the in waters from above. Would you not Another song to love. Let this be our prayer. Let this be our prayer. Now, this was really interesting and very telling about his voice. First of all, that's now the faster part that I was talking about at the beginning of the song. And I'm really amazed that he managed to move through it so effortlessly and really shift gears so, so quickly. That's incredible vocal control. Plus, you could learn something else that's very interesting about his voice in this part of the song. This part had a very profound hint that he's actually a singer who learned a lot through imitating. Now, I don't know if he's ever had any formal vocal training, but to me it sounds this is a guy who has great ears and is very good at picking up sounds and recreating them in his own voice. And probably that's how he learned to do what he does. You can clearly see that when you look at the Italian part of his singing. And I have great respect for that. I find that amazing because from my daily job as a voice teacher, I know how hard that is for most people. Just like every child, just like every child, need to find a place, guide us with your grace, give us faith so we'll be safe. So this was again very interesting. He colored the first vowel a lot darker than the second one. Now he did that by just lengthening his throat here really pushing the larynx a little bit down. So it was very helpful to him to get a darker quality on the first word. And then the second word he went for a different resonance shape again. It was a little brighter and more open like I just and that gave him a different sound. Now, I just point that out because it tells you again how good he is at nailing these individual vowel shapes and imitating them. Amazing feeling for his own voice. Sento che ci salva. Guys, that's amazing. 
he did that incredible pianissimo part at the end of the song and he just nailed it. And what I really loved about him again was the fact that he gave us a mix of Andrea Bocelli and Celine Dion's vocal timbre. Listen for it again. <laughs> Alright guys, I really love this performance by Marcelito Pomoya. First of all, he did an amazing job changing his vocal timbre so much and covering the female part and the male part of the song and totally doing justice to both of them, let alone of the fact that he has got a gorgeous vocal timbre. So I'm definitely wanting to look at more of his music and more of his singing. He is just another example for the great, great quality level of singers at the Philippines. And I know you guys have told me about a lot more of them. Don't worry, I'll cover them. But as I said today, I'm just blown away by his voice. All right, so if there are any other singers or songs you want me to react to, please let me know down in the comments below. That's it for today. And like always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.